Hello, and welcome back to La Milana. I, uh, I want to play La Milana tonight, but gotta be honest, confidence levels are pretty low. I don't really have many ideas for like what to actually do in this game, so I guess we'll just have to see if I make any progress whatsoever. I'm probably gonna need some uh, hints and nudges, maybe some... At some point, maybe I should check out that hint-based guide that I keep mentioning. We'll see. But, as always, I did look at the screenshots again, and I mean, I suppose we can take a look at a couple, because it's like, there's so many screenshots that I can tell there's something there, I just don't know how to connect it to anything. It's like, I feel like I'm missing pieces, but maybe I'm just not thinking about it the right way. But let's just uh, take a quick look at this before we get into the game again. So, uh, where is it? Here, and then... We'll look at... Yeah, what do we look at? Uh, first off, I want to look at just this, these ones. So... These are from the Twin Labyrinth. Because we had this thing again. Same again, that I keep trying to figure out. Reveal the light to the grieving twins. Reveal the light to a world destroyed. The hero confers light upon the twins as they hold up the world. I just assumed that the hero meant me, like, the player, but I don't know if that's actually true. I mean, I, I guess it would, maybe, but then there's another one that's talking about something else. Yeah, the twins were the sole survivors of the first child. The hero of the third child captured them and thus obtained the wisdom of the first child. So, the whole thing with children here is kind of strange. We have... Uh, well, there's this that mentions a bunch of children and stuff, fourth child, fifth, sixth, and then we were destroyed, which I guess is us. Are we the, like, zeroth child, or are we the first child? I don't know, maybe? Maybe it's like, we're the first child, so he gained, the hero gained the wisdom of humanity or something? I don't know, but what that would mean, really. And it goes up to seven and stuff. But then we also had, hold on. We had other stuff. This one I don't know either. I don't know where I even found this, but Isis, the mother of Horus, a flood of motherly love shall grant thee healing powers. I don't think that's the same as, like, the fairies? That sounds like something else. And we've already seen... No, I guess maybe it is that, because, like, we've seen Isis, we've gotten the pendant, and that is how you gain fairies, which technically do heal you, but it's, like, random. I don't know if maybe this is something different. But then I was also looking at... Uh, where was that? Gate of Guidance? No? Spring in the Sky? Uh, well, there's this. A, a child with the strength to rise to the surface, whatever that means. There's another one. I think it was Mausoleum of the Giants? Yeah, this one. Here it starts talking about all of the children. That the first child had the body of a snake. So I guess that's not humanity, so it would be the wisdom of, like, the the boss from Gate of Guidance, I guess? The second child, a large body, a giant, I guess? So that's, like, Socket or whatever he was called, or maybe it was someone else? And then the third child, which the hero was the hero of the third child, right? Or something, whatever it said, soared through the sky, so something airborne, but... I don't think that means, like, spring in the sky, because I think fourth child had the body of a fish. Probably has something to do with Bahamut, that fish thing. Fifth child had wisdom. Sixth child was born of the earth. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Seventh child cast the mother away. Eighth didn't know them. Let us place the spirit of the ninth child into the body of child zero. This, this is such weird nonsense. I don't know. I don't know what the hell this could mean. Uh, I'm just looking at the other ones. We had, like, the Shrine of the Mother one. This is the, the only hint that I maybe know what to do. I mean, we know where this screen is. I guess we can just idle there and something might happen. But I want to say that might not even be right, because I want to say we have to idle specifically here. And we can't get to here. We're, like, down here and we can't jump up because it's too high. So... I might not be able to do this either, but I guess we can test it, at least. 
Bahamut's Wedge. And then this one. And then this, I feel like maybe I can figure out, but I don't know. Extinguish the hole before the one may disappear. This will lead you further down the path of illusion. So it's like, to go even further into Gate of Illusion, we have to do something here. But maybe, maybe we can't do this until we get whatever lets us see the unseen or something. I don't know. I, I guess that's kind of... Kind of everything. There's probably other screenshots that I should be looking at, but I don't know. Let's just let's get into the game, and like I said, I'm probably gonna need some uh, some nudges here and there to f figure out where to go. So last time we got the uh, uh, oh, and also I, I did do a little bit of grinding, just like two fairies worth, and there you go. We have 900 gold, so great. Might as well do that in between streams, because why not? Uh, we have the, like, this, oh, not that, we have this, this doll, the mini doll, and I've proved that I'm a little man, so, great, I've done that to the giants, and I don't know what it did, it didn't seem to do anything, but I guess maybe we should walk around Mausoleum of the Giants a bit more, and just check it out, or maybe I should go from here, and go into the Mausoleum, just to go from the very start, I don't know. 74 weights. Didn't I have that uh, last time, or did I buy more off-camera? Oh yeah, weights are very good to have. I might have bought some weights. I can't remember. Yeah, I, I probably did. But yeah, we can, like, buy a bunch of sub-weapon ammo and stuff as well. I, I honestly should probably be, like, using sub-weapons a bit more. Like shurikens and whatever. Maybe rolling shurikens, maybe these ones. I don't know. These seem not that great, I gotta be honest. Like, they're awkward to use, and even when you do use them correctly, they don't really seem to do that much damage. Oh, down we go. Well, that's fine. I want to go this way anyway. I don't know. Those Earth Spears are strange. But yeah, so down here, we have the Mausoleum. So if we just want to look around here a little bit to see if anything changed when I proved that I was a little man. But maybe it's not in the mausoleum. I like, I completed it and maybe I now have to go somewhere else. But we already went to where I got the doll and that was nothing. So not really sure. Yeah, Nebra Sky Disc. And here's, oh, right. Uh, hold on. Here's where it mentions it. Thou art tiny like a little doll. Yeah, I, I sure am. I'm a doll. Or tiny. God, I, I hate switching between these. Really wish there was a way to quickly do it. Yeah, and that's that's nothing. It's this thing, but nothing has happened. I'm a little man. Oh, I shouldn't have. Actually, that's fine. Have the double jump. I guess I haven't been in here. I, I doubt there would be anything more in here, but we have waste to spare. We might as well. Waste some weights. Yeah, it doesn't look like much is going on here. I don't think we really need to go in there. And then down here was a weird thing, right? Like, this place doesn't really make any sense. It just ends here. Much water was needed. Yeah. I don't know what those are. Like, are those towers or are they like drills? No clue. And on the right, if that's like an area that we can figure out based on the map, perhaps. I don't know. And we got the anchor as well, so... I don't know if I can do something with that. I don't think I can. Like, there's nothing... where the anchor would help. As far as I remember. Oh, God! Oh, Jesus Christ. Jump scare for the day. Alright. Time to remember that eyeballs are a thing. Yeah, that, that is kind of weird that it does it does complain that I'm hitting that, which makes it seem like that probably is something at some point that we can, like, 
remove this path, but I don't know why we would. Like, it would just lead out here, wouldn't it? Okay, can't do that. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Huh? What just happened? I saw, like, letters or numbers or something? Uh... Well, now we have two things in here. I have no idea what they did. Great. Good god, this game is so confusing. Well, let's save. I accomplished something, I guess. Suddenly there's, like, weird technology stuff here. Does it reset? It does, okay. It does reset, so we can go and do it again. So let's check. I don't know what those mean. Let's take a screenshot, I guess. If that's a number. And then it's gone, I see. Uh, then if we go up again, will it be the same number, or will it be a different number? Yeah. It's the same number, or whatever that is. Pretty sure that's a number. But what would that mean? If it's like, maybe it's based on, it looks like a, you know, a scale or something. So it looks like it's based on what I have or something like that. If it's based on how many of something you have on you, perhaps. But I don't know what that would be. If it's a specific sub weapon. Or if it's, like, uh, weights or something, and you have to have a specific number of them on you when you step onto that to have something happen. But I don't really know. I don't know how to, how to count in the system yet, so I don't think we can really do that. Hmm. Guess I can visit the shop and just buy some stuff. Yeah, let's, let's buy some stuff and then go back again and see if anything changes. So we'll buy a couple of these and a couple more weights. So now I've also changed my money. So money, weights, and rolling shurikens have all changed. Maybe health as well could be a thing, if it's based on your health. Nope, same number. But maybe it's not, like, dynamically updating. Maybe it's just, like, you need to reach this number in something, but you don't know what it is, if it's health or an item of some kind. I don't know. Ow. And over here is nothing anymore, right? Ow. Stop. Ow. Yeah, this is this thing. I was thinking about that that face there. Looks a little suspicious, but I, I'm pretty sure I already tried hitting that, right? Or hitting, like, the wall that it looks into. Damn it. Those are so hard to time. Yeah, red light. Oh, right, I can't get up here unless I change it to, like, whatever it was. Moon, maybe? Or stars? I don't remember, but maybe I should do that. God damn it, these things are impossible.
So it's on moon. So, damn it. I'm guessing it was on star. It should be on star. Well, I guess let's try sun, because I don't remember. Yeah. So it looks like those drill things are the towers. Also, I want to hit these walls down there. They look a little suspicious, I guess. Oh, wow. Just barely. Yeah, no, it's not here. It was Starlit Night, I suppose. So let's try, like, jumping down here. Okay, that was nothing. At least, seemingly. Oh, damn it. There we go. I wonder if you die if that falls on you. I guess I could try. Oh, you can break it! I thought I had already tried that. Huh. So, wait, what, what happened? Did something happen on the screen? Because I didn't notice. Did anything happen here? Oh, it it undid this seal. Is that just like as a failsafe if you for some reason No, you can't even do that. If you grab this, that's when this starts shining, right? So you can't like get in here, get trapped, not take the the treasure, the red jewel and then just like be soft locked. That's not possible, is it? Is there something to scan here? This thing in the background is a little suspicious. Like it looks like a hidden compartment or something. Or did the eye change? I almost want to... We haven't done anything. I think I'm just gonna reset just to look at that one more time and see if anything actually happened. Because I, I wasn't fully paying attention. Ow! Damn you. Oh, Jesus, what? That was kind of a weird hitbox. Okay, the eye looks the same. Doesn't that thing on the right look different? The, like, thing in the wall? Let me look at that. Damn it. Wait. Ah, no, damn it. I should have, like, hit it and then latched on to the other, other wall. Yeah, it changed. It was like, there was a hole at the top here, and now there's a hole at the bottom. So this has changed, but why? I don't know what that does. I'm confused. Hmm. Wait, there's an achievement for dying to the, the statue? Oh boy. Well, I guess I can't do it now until next time. Wait, I, I don't know. 
God damn it. I don't know what this means. And if this guy has fallen down and then I switch the, like, constellation, he, d he gets back up, right? Wait, hold on. Nothing. Just wanted to check. Yeah, here's this one. Okay. Maybe I should... Hold on. I should, like... The ones that that seem to have good information, I should probably record the conversation for. Uh, so, like, this one I can just remove. We're not seeking Eden anymore. And, like, this, this I can delete. This is probably nothing. Wait, oh, shit. How do I, like, look at it? I guess I have to do it from, from the menu. Like, this might be something, but... I don't know. This one, I don't know. This one, we've already done. So that, I can delete. Just to maybe try and have a couple of the, like, more relevant hints that I think I should be able to solve. We can have it in-game so we don't have to keep looking at screenshots. Yeah, time may be shifted. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's just back up. Alright. Well, I guess we might as well try that achievement, because why not? Just gonna take some damage then. Actually, spikes are probably more efficient. And if I die then, then we can look at that thing again, just to see how it changes, really. Wait, which one is it? It's not this one, right? It's over here. I assume this is low enough health. Maybe it's even like a one shot, no matter how, how much health you have. Wait, so where do I want to be? Here? At the bottom? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. And there it is. This is La Milana Part 1. Of course it is. Flattened by a falling giant. Well, I mean, I avoided La Milana Part 1, I guess. I didn't fall for that trap the first time. Okay, so now we do it all again again. Can't you wait? Ah, you have to like wait to start moving again. I want to like do a, a standing jump and then a forward jump. But you have to like wait until you start falling down before you can jump again and move forward. Otherwise you just do two standing jumps. Okay, that's fine. Just wanna make sure this thing isn't in the way. Damn it. Okay, there we go. So now let's do... Yeah, it just like instantly shifts up. Or down, or whatever. Was that... Before I claimed the jewel, was that in the same position then? 
So is it really just reversing the trap? What would be the, the point? Why would you do that? Huh. Well, I, I guess maybe this is nothing relevant right now. Left-handed. Yeah, can't scan anything. We can't use the figure thing. Said to be of a dolphin. That's a dolphin? It looks like an eyeball to me. All right. Well, I think we're kind of done here in Mausoleum of the Giants for now. So I guess let's just check this last part. Yeah, we're a fish or something. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, saved. Why are there spikes all the way up here? It's kind of strange. I'm going where the hand is pointing. No. Yeah, this statue is entirely gone. Yeah, we've already done that, but still. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's it. And this is the weird part. Okay, so percent sign is uh, the uh, endless corridor, right? Or is this... that's it? Yeah. Okay. So I guess... I see. It's probably like, okay, all right. I'm, I'm probably understanding the numbers a little bit. So like, percent means endless corridor, but then we need to figure out which child was in the endless corridor, and then we'll know which number that child was, and then we'll know that percent is that number. So I think like, we know which number three is, and three is the same number as the the symbol for the twins, right? Something like that? I don't know. It's hard to keep everything in my head. Uh, wait, oh crap, now I don't have this thing. I, I should go and grab that again. And I guess remove some stuff here. So like this one, we can delete. That we can delete in this one. Nothing. So where was that? Was that up here? Damn it. God damn it. Yeah, right here. We'll just put that there. So again. Oh. Yeah, third child soared through the sky, but if that means the twins? Did the twins soar through the sky? They don't look very bird-like to me, but maybe? Hmm. Yeah, I guess we're done here now. So I guess let's go heal up and save and stuff. And I suppose we'll go and do that one thing that I have the idea to do in the Temple of Moonlight. And then we're like, we're done. Then I don't know what to do. And even this I'm not super hopeful for. I think it might be referring to like a specific spot that you have to rest in, but we'll see. Uh, where am I going? Mulbrook, anything? What's up? Nope. 
I want to get into this weird thing there. Looks like a, a graveyard or something. And then we want to go in the front front gate. There's this as well again. But I've already tried, like, all of my weapons on it, right? I don't want to waste that in case I can't grab it again. The gun? We could try shooting it. I want to say it's... We know there's explosives at some point. Maybe it's just that? We just have to blow that up or something? Time for dudes. All right, so like right here, we just sit still. Get comfortable. Guess I'll have some water. Well, I mean, this could just be like sit here for 24 hours, because why wouldn't it be? But I, I don't think this is it. I think we have to be above where I am. We have to be on that symbol, and that's where you sleep, but I can't get there, because I can't jump that high. And then I guess if we're sitting there, or maybe we just have to do this, like, rest? He goes to bed? I'm resting, I'm sleeping within the woman. Right? Does he just sleep forever until you do stuff again? And if I unpause? Nope. Yeah, I wanna say. Damn it. I wanna say it's up there, but. I, I can't get there. So... I guess we can't do this now. And yeah, like I said, that's it. That's everything I really had any idea what to do with. So, uh... Now we just start floundering around. I guess I might as well just load since I just took a massive hit. I don't think there was more in the Tower of Ruin that I could do, and I don't think there's anything in, uh, what's that other place we did? Uh, Gate of Illusions. I couldn't really progress at that point either, though I mean, maybe, maybe I should explore Gate of Illusions more, because now I've proved that I'm a little man, so maybe now something happens there for some reason, but I don't know why it would. Or maybe here in Gate of Guidance? I mean, now I'm just, like, guessing. It's There's not really any logic to that, just... Maybe something would happen in Gate of Guidance, because it's connected to the Gate of Illusions, which is where we were told to be a little man, or got the thing to be a little man. Yeah, there's just this again. And we've done this plenty of times, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to get in here. If only you could, like, actually wall climb with these. Or, like, reset your double jump when you latch on. Or something. Yeah. Yeah, we've seen that too. All right, well, let's do it again.
I wish Mulric would help with the Elder. I need some, like, advice. Yeah, great. Ah. Uh, there was also the whole, like, Baphomet thing in the, the maze. But, like, I, I think I tried pretty much everything. The only thing I can think of is if we get all the five witches there and then, like, leave and go to the mirror copy of that screen that was, like, past the time stop guy. Maybe something happens then, but that's incredibly obscure, if so. Like, that is such a stretch. I, I don't really feel like that's it, but I don't know. Yeah, just that, that little man thing, it's really frustrating when it's like, you did good, and it doesn't show you what you did, so you have no idea, and it doesn't help you actually advance at that point. So, I don't know. Like, I'm pretty sure if I see the thing that I actually did accomplish by uh, showing that I'm a little man, I'm not gonna realize that that's because I showed that I was a little man. It's just gonna be like, why is this open, or... Maybe I'm not even gonna realize that it's something that has opened. Yeah, I think I'm I'm coming up on please give me a hint time, but let's just check out this witch stuff quickly. Because otherwise I I just don't know. Oh! Right! No, the twins are not the symbol of three. Or are they? I mean, the the symbol into the Twins Labyrinth is not the same symbol that was the symbol of three that was on the back of the twin. I don't know if that means they're not the, the number three, or if it's like... Maybe I'm just completely wrong about that. And now we're just here. Oh, thanks. Yeah, we have four witches here, but these ones don't spawn another one. But we could try it, the, like, mirror theory. Is there a place you finished exploring everything in? Uh... I mean, I don't know. I don't think so, really. Like, I don't think there's any area I'm completely done with entirely. I feel like there's still stuff pretty much everywhere. Except maybe the Inferno Caverns. Oh, haven't finished. I mean, no, that's that's the thing. I don't, I don't know. I feel like I've tried everything I can think to try, but... I don't know. Like, gate of illusions, I suppose, but again, I, I don't have any ideas for how to progress in there. Oh, right, this is a trap. Shit. God damn it. Ugh, that's annoying. Yeah, I, I don't think there's any anywhere I, like, have gone into, but not actually explored as much as I was able to explore. Like, the Shrine of the Mother? We we couldn't do anything there. And the Tower of Ruin as well. I, I think I went everywhere I possibly could in there, right now. Oh, God damn it. Jesus Christ! This fucking hit stun.
Wait, no. Uh, no, this is fine. Yeah, I don't want to go up again. Yeah, it is a very compelling game, but it's also a very frustrating game, and, like, I think they went a bit too hard on the whole, like, everything is impossible to figure out. God damn it, stop it. Jesus. This is, this is awful. Stop doing this! Oh my god! <sighs> yeah, th this is a bad time. That's fine. We need to go here anyway. Some of that healing power would be nice right about now. Uh, I don't really think I need to save here, but I guess we might as well. Yeah, so here's this. So that's the number three, right? Yeah, and it just kind of looks like a number three, more or less, like a slanted M or three. But maybe there's no connecting thing at the top, so maybe it's like more... This almost looks like a W with a little dot to the left or something. But it's not the number of this place. I don't think we've seen that number anywhere else. I'm just taking so many hits right now, it's very annoying. Great. Fantastic. At least I didn't fall down, but I guess it's the same either way. Yep. There's just so many, like, fuck you enemies in this game and traps. Things that just are intentionally there to screw you up and just, like, waste time for you for no reason. Oh boy. So, we have these again. Yeah, those do not do much damage. So there's that one. So I'm just gonna leave now and I guess go to the other place. I don't know why I would, but let's do it. Like, this just seems like nonsense. Have I jumped to the right there and tried going to the right? I think I have, but I should try that again. And we can't do anything here, can we? Wait, can I jump up there? Oh, I can jump up here. Oh! I've got some amazing wares for you. Oh, here we go. That's a bracelet. It comes in handy. Sold. Great. Guess I'll get some caltrops. Why not? I forgot about this place. Okay, so what's a bracelet? Item with mysterious powers. With this, you can smash the pots in the ruins with one blow. I mean, that's not useless. Maybe not like the best thing ever, but pretty good. Hooray. Great. Yeah, okay. I don't mind that. I guess it'll make money farming quicker if I need it. So let's just save again. Technically progress, that is true. We have technically made progress today. So, uh, yep. Now we can just do nothing for the rest of this and it'll be totally fine. Oh no, I'm gonna get trapped. Well, I already am. Uh, 
That is actually very nice. And I can't go here, or can I? I can. That's fine. This is not the way. Yeah, I, I very much doubt this is anything. But just to check. Nope. Ah, oh boy. I guess, like, I would have to test so many other possibilities here. Like, maybe if I kill all of the witches on the, the right one, including the fifth one, and then come here. Or if I kill the four witches, spawn the fifth one, Leave, come back when they're, the four witches are back, then go here while leaving all of them alive. Or while killing all five in one go, and then going here. Oh! What? Why? Be because I left them? I guess I just solved it. Okay! Well, there we go. <laughs> okay, progress. That is very weird. And... We haven't actually gotten the Aunt Jewel from this maze, have we? I don't remember where I got this one from, but I... Wait, no. You can't use an Aunt Jewel... Can't... Wait, can you use an Aunt Jewel for a place where you didn't get it? Or does that... Does it not care? Yeah, like, th there's so many different possibilities that could have been the answer to this one. This one is from the Tower of Ruin. All right. Well, I mean, let's let's leave and heal up and come back and just see if I can place it, but I don't think I can. Like I assume it probably doesn't care about which Ankh jewel it is. It just cares about you having to have completed the Ankh jewel or like gotten the Ankh jewel from that area. So, like, it doesn't matter if it says, oh, number two or whatever, and two is the second one you got, which is not from the same area or anything like that. Good thinking? I, I don't know. I'm, like, I can't tell what's good thinking and what's just, like, insanity <laughs> in this game. I don't know. It's just so hard to know if you're even on the right track with so many of, much so much of this. Yeah, four witches plus one more. Four witches in this room plus the one in the other room. I guess so, yeah. Good Lamalana thinking, yeah. That does not equate to good normal thinking. Because, yeah, it, it does make sense, but I, I feel like it should have maybe mentioned something about having to go to the other side or whatever. I guess not, like, obviously, but just something? Cause yeah, uh, hold on, since I just saved. Okay, it's gonna crash. Great, wait, no? Is it crashing? No? It's not crashing, okay good. I'm just gonna check this again. Five witches plus one more will gather, at which point Baphomet will be summoned. So yeah, that's it. Cause like, I've already done five witches plus one more by like having all the five witches plus me in that first room, but yeah, I don't know. This is a, a bit of a stretch, this one, I feel. Oh, there's another clue for it? I see. Yeah, maybe that would have cleared things up. Alright, well, let's head back and see if we can do anything, but I kind of doubt it. Yeah, that is double progress today at least, so now I'm actually, like, unironically somewhat happy. <laughs> we did something.
So can I break, like, rocks and stuff in one hit too? Yeah, nice. I can smash entire boulders in one hit, but I can't just, like, whack a skeleton. Oh, boy. Boy. The movement is hard to get used to every time. Oh, God. And these guys. Did I see something mentioning the Ankh Jewel in the Twins Labyrinth? There, there was something about, like, a place of meditation, but that didn't mention the Ankh Jewel. I think it... Oh! I guess it kind of... I mean, now I guess it's that's kind of like in hindsight you can figure that out. That it does mention that the one that controls time, like, was that Zoo, I think? He guards the Ankh, basically. And I mean, Baphomet seems to be the boss here, which would then be in the place guarded by the Ankh, or whatever. But again, that's like in hindsight, when you know that Baphomet is the boss and that this was the solution, so... I don't know. Alright, well, we'll see. We can? Really? You can use... whichever Ankh Jewel you want in whichever area? I thought you had to use the one in the same area. Wow. Uh, nice rack. Yeah, that's not really what I imagined Baphomet would look like. It feels like I can just overpower this thing. I'm pretty sure it's gonna die soon. Oh, maybe not. Phase two? Holy shit. Uh-oh. Oh, phase two. It's not even the final form. Does she, like, transform back once I kill all the witches? Ow. I'm dead. All right, I couldn't tell if I could damage her in that form. Huh. Baphomet looks exactly like that? I thought Baphomet, Baphomet was male. I mean, I guess I only know it from, like, Ragnarok Online. Is my experience with Baphomet. Or Baphomet, or however you pronounce it. No idea. Well, uh... Like, I, I don't feel like I should be fighting this boss now if I haven't figured out the Ankh Jewel for this area. So, like, sure, this is something we could do, this is technically progress, but, yeah, maybe I should not do this and try and figure out something else? Or maybe I shouldn't look a gift goat in the mouth and just do something that I actually can do. But then, what, what other area would it be that I, like, haven't explored fully? See, I, I really feel like I have explored pretty much all the areas, especially the, like, uh, what's it called? The mirror areas. I guess maybe something has changed in here? Now that I've, like, shown that I'm a little man, because it's the, uh, the other side of it, or whatever. There's this stuff, but I don't know how to get here. Maybe from above or from below? I don't know if you can break that somehow. Oh, 
Down we go. It's all puzzles all the time, yeah. God. Yeah, and the boss, of course. Hmm. And I got zapped if I try and strike this, right? No? What? Wait, what? Oh, I jumped into the spikes. Oh! Oh, there we go. Okay, that's something, at least. Ow. Please stop. Stop, please. Future Development Company. Great. Take a walk on the dark side. What? Oh, my controller just, like, unplugged itself, but it's, it's fine again. Uh... Mirai, future development company, Nagora's seventh flash game, a game focused on problem solving while developing an area. And I don't have enough space for it, so we need 120. So, I mean, I, I guess let's just remove these ones. Don't really need them too much. Oh, so that might have been a combination Software these days is amazing. It's me. Among the existing software, some of them show off special functions when loaded at the same time. Some software combinations might emit a wavelength that triggers something in the ruins, boosting your powers or strength. Kind of kind of amazing, huh? Yeah, but can I tell if that's happening? Oh, wait. No, I thought it, like, changed the symbol. It doesn't look like there's any immediate, like, noticeable effect. Uh, I guess I should go and save. I can look in the manual. There was something about it mentioning this one, right? Uh, I have not found a save point in Tower of Ruin, have I? So I guess I should just teleport- Oh! Oh, now I can teleport in this- this area. Wait, so what is doing that? Is that only Mirai, or is that- That com uh, combined with something else? So if we remove these, I can still do it. Oh, nice! Yeah, that's very helpful. But I don't know if there's any combination happening at this point. Okay, so wait, how do I, like, flip over then? Down, I see. Yeah, that's really, really handy. Noise plus blink. That happens on the combo. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. If that actually happens on those as well, that would be very nice. Then we know, like, nothing is happening right now. I mean, I, I guess it's not really that I forgot that that was a thing. It's just like, would you really assume that these secret combinations would show the same effect as the very obvious? Like, this upgrades this other other software. I don't know. I wouldn't put it past this game to just have no effect whatsoever. But yeah, that's very good. Now we have some stuff. Whoops. So, can we do anything with this at this point? Graveyard, Temple of Moonlight, Tower of Ruin. Oh, I did find Tower of Ruin and Twin Labyrinths. That's really nice to have Twin Labyrinths, so we can get into the boss room much easier. Oh yeah, this place. And those just do nothing.
Yeah, I don't think I left anything in here. At least nothing that I could figure out right now. Ow. Okay, well, just wanted to test that again. Yeah. Seen and unseen. Yeah, that is true, actually. The Twin Labyrinth save point is pretty bad for getting to that boss room. I think it might still be faster to go uh, Temple of Sun and just, like, go into the lava place, climb up, and then it's you're just, like, a screen or two away. Yeah, and I think if we hit this, yeah, that thing gets pissed off. No map here. This is probably the map, I would imagine. There's no eyeball here, so we can strike things. As much as I want. Maybe I do have to, like, break all the boxes, so maybe we want to use, like, this to do it? Nope, I just wasted a bunch of money, but that's fine. Money doesn't mean much anymore. Well, it's probably this thing, but I don't know what that is yet either. And I don't want to break these in case there's something in there. I mean, I can't strike this. Oh, well, I guess I broke it. That's fine. Yeah, it looks like you, you can go to the right here, and there's going to be, like, a, a hidden path. Probably a door up there or something. But how do I get there? What is that symbol? Have I seen that before? The, like, right-facing dog thing? Was that Gate of Illusions, perhaps? I haven't found Gate of Illusions save point, so that's kind of unfortunate. And this is kind of a bad one, too, like, for actually getting into Eden or uh, Gate of Illusions. I guess weight tax. And wait tax again. Yeah, that's the right facing dog, right? So we should be able to find a gate going into and yeah, this is the, the symbol. Okay, so Temple of Okay, Temple of Moonlight is the number three. And do we know Oh boy, I'm gonna risk an alt tab again. Hold on. Uh, I think it's crashing again. No, is it? it? It's so unreliable. There we go, now it worked. And it didn't crash. Uh, where was that again? Right-facing dog is your least favorite yoga position. Well, it's something at least. Where is this thing? Hold on, was it Mausoleum again? Yeah, so the third child soared through the sky, but then would that mean the child of the Temple of Moonlight soared through the sky? Hello, Ms. Roy. Or however you want your name pronounced. Like, I, I, I don't know if I understand the numbers quite right. And then... If that's true, that the third child soared through the sky, which is the Temple of Moonlight, then in that temple, the Twin Labyrinth thing, it mentioned, reveal the light to a world destroyed, 
the hero confers light upon the twins as they hold up the world, and then it mentioned that the hero of the third child captured them and thus obtained the wisdom of the first child. So, like, the twins would be captured in the Temple of Moonlight? I don't know. Again, I feel like an insane person because nothing makes sense. And, like, I don't know if any of that is even remotely close to what you're supposed to think. Oh, boy. There's just so many, like, absurd stretches in the reasoning you have to have for this game. Well, I mean, I guess at this point, Sirigo, if you want... You said you there was a, an area that I, like, hadn't fully explored? If you want to mention which area that would be, because I don't know which area I haven't fully just, like, explored the base of or whatever. Because, yeah, I feel like I've done everything that isn't just straight up, I need to figure something out in all the areas. Frozen Giants? Really? I didn't do everything there? I thought I had already completed everything I could, but okay, I'll check that again. In a second. Yeah, nothing has changed here. And this would just go into the Temple of Moonlight, I guess, yeah. We know that. And I can't go this way. What's your favorite zone music? Off the top of my head, I'm not sure I can say. There's a lot of good music. Yeah, I think I'll have to, like, go through all of them again to figure that out. Yeah, this one is good. The Gate of Illusions is pretty good, too. Like, it's kind of weird and, like, wrong, but in a good way. Yeah, there's the right-facing dog again, but that's the, the left side, which we've been at. Yeah, I, I don't know what I haven't explored here. I feel like I've gone everywhere you can go. Oh, I, I guess not here. Never mind. Money can't buy the real thing. Oh, yeah. The shield, I suppose. Yeah, the water area. Music is good. Really? The spring in the sky was mangled in the remake? Huh. I guess I'll have to play the, the original at some point. So what is going on here? In the steam. 
steam bath. Oh! I'm dying. Very, very slowly. What? I can't scan it. Uh, little man? No? I don't know what that's about. White Silver Altar. I wonder if it means, like, for some reason I have to buy the shield, the silver shield, that's, like, not the real thing, and then take it here and, like, dip it in that white silver altar thing, whatever. I mean, that doesn't look like a white silver altar, but that pool, maybe? I guess we can try that. I have money. Yeah. Totally genuine silver shield. Guess I'll buy some of these, why not? Also, those, like, footholds are kind of weird. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, wait, did he just show me a secret? He, like, flew in there. Stop. Stop. No, okay, never mind. We can't scan this giant. Alright, so let's equip the shield. I'm soaking the shield. I don't think it worked. Nope. That doesn't seem to be anything. Yeah, I don't think we can really do anything else here. Guess I should try and whip. Just because, like, sometimes the whip can hit things that the other weapons can't, I guess. So that's mostly the, the dagger, I think. Hmm. Nothing. All right, well, we can go to the right. So can I, like, jump up here? Wait. Nope. No, you can't. And you just slide off. All right. Uh, I guess we'll retreat again and come back one more time. This music is really good, just the first song. It's just very, like, unfitting of the surface, I feel, and, like, the start of the game. It's too intense, but it is very good. Yeah, let me just teleport around quickly, just, like, remember the music. Yeah, this isn't bad. This one's probably not my favorite. But still, not bad. I do kind of like Temple of the Sun. Yeah, Spring of the Sky is good. This one is meh. Oh yeah, the dudes are really good. The Temple of Moonlight, I do like that. I mean, there's basically not a bad track, as far as I've heard so far. Yeah, the, the dudes are good. This one's really good too. Twin Labyrinths I'm not too fond of, I would say. Yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of good music. I always have a hard time, like, picking favorites of basically anything. Like, it's all good. 
There's not one that's better than all the others. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. Shit. Can I jump up here? Probably not. No. All right. No, my ride. Oh, well. Yeah, maybe my favorite song in the game hasn't played yet. We'll see. Ah, I shouldn't have done that. I just wanted to check. This looked a little suspicious. Oh, well, that's good. Kind of. More or less waste of that, I suppose. Oh, I thought it was gonna, like, steal it and send it flying up in the sky. Damn it. And he escapes too. Wait, also, this looks a bit, bit suspicious. Hold on. Can this guy not be here? There we go. Just to try, like. Ah, no. You can't jump up here. Alright, never mind. Uh oh, god damn it. Just because I landed. A meeting of man and women. Man and women? Inside the man, the seed of life is born. So, inside the temple of the sun? If that's what they mean? But I don't know what the seed of life would refer to here. And I guess that's it. I can't really do anything at this point. We're supposed to be able to go down from the screen up and to the right. I don't know why I'm even like bothering to collect tiny coins at this point. Like from here, we want to be able to go down. So I guess let's see if we can go down somewhere. Yeah, these guys aren't too bad. Like, they're not that dangerous. They're just a little annoying. There we go. Down. Go down. Nope, can't go down. I can schmoove, though. Yeah, I don't know, there's like, right here, there was a, a gap where you could fall down, according to the screen below me. But maybe that's just some, like, looping bullshit going on? And it's actually from somewhere else? But I mean, it, it is right below, so that wouldn't make sense. Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's that. That's that. You worked out how to hit the ground below you? I mean, I guess with the dagger. But, I mean, the... The halberd or axe should also be able to do that. Most of the time it can also hit below you. I guess the Earth Spear, too, but... What? Why does that not work with the axe? Normally, when you're standing on top of something, it can be hit by the axe. Jesus. Okay, that's that's a really difficult secret, but I mean, I guess I did notice that... Oh. Oh, there it is. The actual Silver Shield. So now it won't break in one hit. Yeah, I guess you're just supposed to notice that 
there's supposed to be a path right here. Holy crap. Oh. I see. He does a triple Hadouken. Well, I mean, all that was just for kind of a bonus thing that doesn't really help me. But I guess it's nice to have. So now I guess I'm done in this area. Like, for now, as done as I can be. This place is just really strange. Like, there has to be something about this. Hmm. I don't remember reading anything about, like, a hot spring or whatever it is. I don't know if that's supposed to be hot or cold. Or a silver altar. Beam of lights. Yeah, I mean, I think I have the white shimmer if it means the crucifix, but maybe it doesn't mean that. Well, down we go. Yeah, it's important to finish off the, the dead ends and stuff, but I mean, most of the time it's, it's not that I'm like intentionally not doing it. It's just, I didn't think there was any more to this point. Well, again, we've gotten, like, a lot of stuff today, but none of it is actually useful. It's just, like, that's neat, I guess. It's it's cool that we have access to the boss that I don't have the jewel for. It's cool that we have a bracelet to break pots. It's cool that we have a shield that I can now use, but it doesn't actually help me progress in any way. Take this. Of course not. And I guess at this point, honestly, is there any reason not to just hold the shield at all times? I'm not sure if there's, like, a downside to it. Hmm. Yeah. Now I'm, I'm stuck again. I just feel like I haven't been here in a while, but I think we just need those seals or whatever it is before I can really do much here. Oh yeah, yeah, warping to the other side is very nice. That's like the biggest development so far. Yeah, we've already been here. Mural of Oanis. Or Oanis, or I don't know how you pronounce that. Was there anything you want to try hitting below you? Hmm. Boss there. Ah. Uh. Oh, blocked. I'm trying to think, but... Yeah, like, off the top of my head, I can't think of anything that I need to hit below me. Like this stuff, maybe? Ah, there we go. Yep. Okay. That's a nice little hint. 
And it did something. What did it do? Nobody knows. But it's it's progress. Yeah, I guess I'm underestimating the, the knife, the dagger. But again, like, most of the time you can use the axe to hit down as well, so it's it's a little strange. Like, right here. Oh, I guess that, that probably the, just uh, uncovered that shot. Like, right here. No, not here. There we go. Yeah, see? I was, like, on top of it, and it damaged it, because the, the axe has a little bit of a hitbox going down, but I guess not as much as the dagger. Yeah, here we go. Secret shop. There we go. Here's something new. I restock supplies. What are you, a robot? It looks like just like a charcoal pit. And we get flares? How many, though? Uh, I can't shift around. Hold on. Let me just check. Because flares are really useful if it's like a good price. I will buy 10 flares for 50. How much were they in the Temple of the Sun? I guess I'll have to check. Wasn't it less? I, I want to say it was like 30 for, for 10. But yeah, this one, that's snapshots. It analyzes images. Oh, there we go. I will buy fully loaded. It's like a disembodied brain, maybe? Okay, what do we have? Torud. Toruday? Snapshots analyzes murals displayed within the screen. It can scan hidden text from murals in the room you're in. Here we go. Okay, that's a pretty significant... significant progress item, for sure. Oh boy. How do I fit it on? We need 220. Somehow. I guess the guild isn't super useful, but maybe I should just remove one of these, because so far they have not done anything. They might, eventually, but yeah, I guess let's remove this for now, and then I can just equip this again. Just to have it. Do you want to scan this image? Interesting. Scanning, scanning. <laughs> okay, this is unexpected. There were no reliefs containing ancient characters. Holy crap. Okay, this is going to be something to use, like, everywhere. So just basically everywhere that something suspicious is, I should just go and scan that. Just use it, see if it finds something, like, with a cross or whatever. Nope, nothing there. But, I mean, the, the obvious one is Chamber of Extinction. But then I want to say... Uh, before we go to the Chamber of Extinction, I want to say maybe this one would work as well, right at the start of the entire game. Right here, because it says, A relatively new mural in the ruins. The history of the Lamilana ruins is detailed here. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a, uh, that's true. You technically don't need Mirai if you're not planning on warping to the, the other side, but that's really annoying to like switch on and off. No reliefs, huh? Okay, never mind. Uh, it's not just, like, the ones I can't translate, is it? Like, maybe it's just specifically the tablets, basically? So, if we go... here? Oh, the sound hit echo? Yeah, that's a nice touch. So, right here. No, so it doesn't count those. Alright, so let's go to the obvious one, the main one. Wait, where was it? It's up and to the left, I think. Damn it. But the warping also echoed. I haven't been paying attention to that. So yeah, right here. Show me what you got. Really? Come on. 
Okay, it doesn't specifically mean... Uh... Wait. Where do we go? Is it, like, specifically these number ones or something? Wait, hold on. Let's just try it on, like, anywhere there's a mural. Nope. Nothing. Maybe this is not as useful as I thought. Right here? This thing? I guess we're just gonna be doing this on, like, most screens in the game. Nothing. Why not? Just beep boop all the way. So right here, there's like, is this a mural depicting an ancient character? Nope. Using Tarud in that room is a classic moment of disappointment. Yeah, I thought for sure that was going to be like the main thing for it, but I guess not. Also, I don't know how it's pronounced. If it's, like, Japanese and it's Torude, or if it's, like, Tarude. Tarude Sandstorm. Yeah, what the hell is it even supposed to do, then? If it's not scanning the door signs, it's not scanning the tablets I can't translate, it's not scanning the thing in the Chamber of Extinction, it's not scanning the history of everything, what does it scan? <laughs> it doesn't seem like it scans anything. Reliefs containing ancient characters. Yeah, most of it is Japanese. Where have we seen reliefs? Is this a relief? Nope. Nothing. Yeah, it really is devolving into, like, I guess I'll just scan every single screen in the game because I don't know what it's... what it wants me to try and scan. Like, I don't remember anything else that looked like something I should be scanning. Or, like, deciphering. Nope. Also, can I...? Okay, you can just tap left twice. And yet, I still do it. There are no reliefs! They don't exist! They're made up. Maybe this software is just broken. Don't trust random, like, gizmos you get given by, like, brains. Yeah, I, I have no idea. It's just old kanji. I guess that makes sense. Yeah, something like that would definitely be in a more modern game. Like, you would see something that you can scan where you get this thing so that you know what it is that you're trying to look for to scan. Yeah, there's no relief anywhere. This is La Milana. Like, I'm even wondering if the word relief is translated right? Is it- does it actually mean that? What is the definition of the noun relief, anyway? Oh yeah, the scale thing as well? You mean the- the, like, 
triple thing, the like circle with whatever that we've seen in many places. Hmm. Specifically containing the ancient characters, and it's not a tablet, and it's not a like area divider. What other other reliefs with like characters have we seen? Can't really remember any. Nothing? Mulbrook? You alive? Nope. Leaf specifically refers to something that's drawn on the surface using changes in height. Yeah. But yeah, it could be a weird translation thing, because who knows what the word was in Japanese. So I mean, you would call the thing that I went to first a relief, right? Like, it even said it, right? Or did it say mural? The thing that was, like, depicting the history of La Milana. Oh, Jesus, that's a trap? I thought you could go down there. Okay, never mind. New trap unlocked. Nothing. Nothing exists. Hmm. Yeah, winged hero. Rescuing twins with a snake's body. But the snake... So the snake is not in the Gate of Guidance, even though that was like the snake boss. I guess the snake is the... Uh, the twins? So maybe the, the symbol for the maze of the twins is actually the number one, which is the first child, but then they for some reason have the number three on their backs because this guy like quote unquote rescued them, I guess, maybe. And he is from the Temple of Moonlight, allegedly, which would then be three. Oh boy. I don't know. Again, every time I try to, like, voc- Oh! We're out. Vocalize any theory, I just feel like I'm insane. Relief is not the important word here. Yeah, I mean, I guess just... Untra what was it? Untranslated characters, or... What did it say? Yeah, ancient characters. But, like, we've seen many ancient characters. On tablets and on, on the doorways and wherever else. I don't know. Any other place you could scan ancient characters? Oh, wait, wait, I do. No, not really. There's symbols, but hold on. There's something I want to try. I don't think that's correct, though. I'm just trying to think, like anywhere I've seen symbols or characters of any kind.
Uh, I'm just gonna go down here, even though that's not where I'm trying to go. Now, there's still those crosses I don't know. Alright, so, nothing there. Might as well. Imagine if this thing had, like, finite uses or something. <laughs> I would not put it past this game. Oh, not that way. Like these ones? Whoops. Nope. Or, ah, these are just gone entirely, so can't do that. Yeah, what do you want from me, game? I don't know. I don't know where we have characters, ancient characters, on reliefs. I mean, I would think it's in a late area that I haven't, like, fully explored, but I don't know. This thing? That looks ancient to me, right? And that's kind of a relief, isn't it? Nothing! <laughs> I, I don't know what they mean. It doesn't feel like they're using the right words to describe these things, but I don't know. And if we go in here again, he doesn't sell anything new. I want this thing. Yeah, and this one. Nope. Don't see any ancient characters here. Honestly, maybe they don't mean characters as in letters or numbers. Maybe they mean, like, figures for some reason. And it's just a really weird, vague way to say it. So maybe in that case it would be, like, uh, this weird... What was it again? What was it called? The Bahamut thing? Bahamut's Wedge? Whatever that means. I doubt it, but I'm out of ideas. I guess we can see if we get a money fairy as well. Just to restock. Apparently you can tell, like, based on the, the spinning, which fairy it's gonna be. So this is the healing one. And the treasure one has, like, four particles or eight particles or something? I, I don't know. And here's another... another uh, symbol. But I don't really remember this one, I guess. Scan? Nope. Just gonna scan. Just keep scanning. So does this thing just have, like, one single use and that's it? <laughs> oh no. I was expecting, like... Oh great, now we can scan everything and get so much more information, but it kind of seems like it's just going to be like one main use and that's it. Yeah, maybe it's just a complete troll and there's nothing it's useful on. You can never actually scan anything. Yeah, that's not a relief apparently. And down we go. Yeah, I don't know. I might want a bit of a hint again. Just like, what area am I even supposed to be looking in for this? Is it even something I can do now? Hold on, I want to go in the other side. And just try the, like, pregnant woman or whatever. Oh, 
What? Not a relief with characters? What do you mean? You can do things in basically every area. Well, that's not very helpful to know. I, I understand I can, it's just about... I don't know what, what I can do, or how. You would not worry about Tarud right now? Okay. Yeah, that's something at least, but again, in that case, I don't know what else to do. Yeah, last one, I suppose. Wait, do you want point or something arbitrary you very almost found with a fairy? Okay, I, I assume you don't even have to say more. I assume with that you mean the key fairy, because I still don't know what the key fairy does. And I my idea was that it was something for the endless corridor, but I thought I tried as much as I could. But I guess I can try that again. See if we can figure something else out. Wait, hold on. Haven't explored the first area of the game? Okay, well, y you don't have to say exactly, like, where it is or whatever. But I guess the surface then? But yeah, I don't remember seeing anything like that there, but yeah, we'll check that later. Or just more things you can hit below. I. I don't know any other things I can hit below. Oh, shit, right, I need to, like, save and get the fairy back. Wasn't there... What other fairy spots have I seen? Uh... That was a trick hint. I I don't know. Maybe that was a trick... A trick, uh... Clarification of the hint, and it actually wasn't a trick hint. All right, well, let's not go here then. Where else have I seen a fairy spot? Uh, I know there's one in the Temple of Moonlight, but that's kind of out of the way. I mentioned in the previous episode about wanting to hit something below? Huh. Yeah, I don't remember that. Wait, oh, I see, you can only get a single fairy in, like, one load of the game, so I have to save and quit to get any fairy at all to come back. I didn't realize that. Well, let's, let's try this again, then. And I guess... Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know what, what fairy is, like, near the edge of a screen, so I could, like, grab it and check the particles and run out and see if I can, like, get the one I want, because apparently you can do that. Yeah, I mean, that, that's fair enough, but, like, there, there's a lot of stuff that I could do at any given time, but, I mean, that that's kind of fine to get general hints for a lot of different things. I guess, like, I always wonder more about the main things, like, thing, hints that lead to puzzles that actually unlock more stuff to do. Like, not just, oh, I get a random item that is kind of nice to have, because... Yeah, that, that doesn't really help once I figure something out. There's a nice spot in the spring in the sky. I guess I can look around for that. Okay. Uh, is it... I, I guess you might as well, like, tell me. Like, is it above or below or left or right? If we're just, like, 
finding a fairy spot anyway. It's not... Like, I'll see it once I see it, I suppose. Hold on. To the right. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I guess this one is close to a, a screen ed edge, so you can, like, grab it and then run out, but then I don't know exactly what the key fairy will look like. I think that was, like, healing, maybe? I don't know. Oh, this is treasure. Maybe I should have gotten that. I'm pretty sure that's treasure. can't really tell. That one's like green and purple or something? Maybe I should just let it happen so I can figure out which one is which. Yeah, so this one is healing, right? Yeah, that's healing. Okay. That's fine. Well, this, this spot does take a little bit, bit to get to, but I guess it's nice that it's near a the edge of a screen. I'm not sure if there's any other convenient one. That's treasure. I mean, sure. No, that's key. Oh, okay, never mind. So, key fairy. I guess we'll go here and we'll save and I'll see if I can figure it out like within the time. Nope, she doesn't say anything. Key fairy, do something. Yeah. Like, this is the only thing I, I thought to use the Key Fairy for, but maybe there's something else. The Endless Shop Dude. Follow the true flow. Again, the true flow. Like, I'm just doing the same thing I tried before. With, like, going from top to bottom. But then do I go left or do I go right? I don't know. Yeah, the key fairy doesn't seem to do anything here. No, I'm not doing it. And maybe that means it's like already ruined if you have to do it right when you enter, but again, I, I don't feel like this is correct. It's just I have nothing else to go on. The true flow. Yeah, no. Nothing. I don't know where else I've, like, seen anything that would require unlocking in some way. I thought she did something, but she just vanished. Damn it. So if we uh, reset, do I actually have the fairy, or is it not there in the save? Oh, damn it. Well, it, it doesn't seem to be there.
I just didn't stay on the screen long enough. I see. Is there a hint that I've seen? Like a, a tablet or anything that refers to this? Because I guess that would be something to, to know. Not even like which one it is, but just is there one that I've seen that mentions it? And yeah, okay, the, the fairies is gone, so you have to go and get it every time. Like, the only place I know that I have to stay for a while was the, uh, in the Inferno Caverns. It was like a, a statue of a giant. Stay there for a while and stuff happens, but that doesn't mention needing a fairy. Uh, wait, is this it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, it's, it's hard to tell. Or it would be in Chamber of Extinction again, like this mural? Does she decode it for some reason? I don't know why she would. Yeah, that's just that part. Do your thing. Go, fairy, go. I don't think this is it. I should speedrun with this key fairy RNG. Yeah, but we're probably not going to get the RNG when I actually need it, when I know where to go. Oh, what was that? Mural depicting the power of words, yeah. Where else have I seen anything that would logically be connected to this key fairy? I mean, unless I'm just supposed to sit at that dragon. Like, again, just just sit there for ages. Oh, my, my gamepad keeps, like, disconnecting. All right, fairy. Can you do something? Like, this This makes so much sense. It's, it's literally a keyhole, and she's holding a key. But it's not it. Apparently that's not right. You don't think there's a tablet for it, and you don't think it's logically connected. Everyone's like, logic, lol. <laughs> Okay, maybe I need more, some kind of nudge for this, if it's just Lama Lana bullshit and there's no way you can know what screen you have to stay on, why you would need the key fairy on that screen, and where it is or whatever, if there's nothing at all, then I probably need something more. Oh, there's multiple key fairy locations, I guess that makes sense, like, why would there be a fairy? for it if you couldn't use it multiple times. Yeah. Gate of Illusions, perhaps, but I don't know. I'm asking for the completely wrong hints. Well, that's very vague, too. If the key fairy does something, it'll move on its own when it appears in a screen where you can do something. I see. This isn't something you need right now. Okay, let's ignore that then. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's time to just end it for today. I, I really want to figure out more, but yeah, it's just... I'm basically just having to rely on hints and stuff, because... I don't know. I, I have no idea what to actually do in the game, and... Yeah, otherwise it would just be like I would have to play on my own and just see if I can find something, but that would be kind of boring, so it's it's either way. Either I just get hints and get guided, or I just play off camera until I find something, and then I'm just like, hey, I found something, and then we do that, and then that might just last for like two minutes. Yeah, no, that's fine. We were trying to help for something, at least. That's fine. Yeah, maybe... I mean, you, you might still want to do it, like... Just a hint for which area is worth the most to progress in. And maybe 
I can have that as a little homework to see if I can, like, figure out something that I can try in that area. Just what area should I be trying to think about for next time? That could be kind of useful to just know. But yeah, otherwise, we'll just leave it off for Lama Lana for tonight. I'm gonna... <laughs> this one. I, I guess you did mention this. Tower of Ruin and Gate of Illusion. Okay. But then the surface as well. Yeah, I guess I should look around here. If that's something with the, the scanner then. If we can go all the way to the left or maybe all the way to the right in the waterfall or something. Yeah. But I guess that's for... That's for this thing, right? Snapshot, which isn't technically something I need to do right now or something. Yeah, you would also say Gate of Illusion and Tower of Ruin. Okay. Alright, I'll, I'll try and think about those then. But yeah, we'll end it off there for Lama Lana. I'm gonna switch over to some Spirit Fair after a break. So if you want to see that, stick around. Otherwise, I don't know, maybe I'll be back with Lama Lana tomorrow, because I don't feel super satisfied. I feel like I want to try and explore a little more. So maybe we'll do, like, Hat and Time and Lama Lana tomorrow or something like that. We'll have to see what I feel like, but... Man, it's like every single time I play this game, I actually do progress, technically. Like, we did do a lot of stuff today, but it just feels like you're failing every time. It just feels like nothing is actually working out, but it's, it is somehow. But yeah, we'll see what kind of punishment lies in wait for next time. So, see you in a bit. That is true, I got more progress than I was expecting, because I expected nothing. So that's the way to go. 